So in my opinion, the kitchen is one of the hardest rooms of your house to try to make eco-friendly. Uh, just because there are so many things going on in the kitchen all at once. Um, but I've found a lot of solutions to a number of things. There are still um, a lot of projects that I want to work on in the kitchen and try to make more sustainable and eco-friendly. But these products here have helped me have a uh, really strong start. So I'll share some of these and then over the course of the next month as my boyfriend and I really focus our efforts, um, our sustainability efforts on the kitchen, I'm sure I'll be sharing a few more updates um, that we make. So let's go ahead and get started. So one of the first things that I suggest doing in your kitchen is starting to compost. We started to compost over the summer and that's kind of what kick-started our desire to be more sustainable and eco-friendly. We found a lot of solutions that work for us since then. If you are not sure where you can uh, compost in your area, there are so many great resources online. I would just go ahead and look it up. We found a really great solution for a company that comes to our apartment once every month. You can set it to be once every week, once every other week, or once a month, depending on um, how much food waste that you're using. We So we have a bin from them that we keep outside on our back patio so that it's not indoors and not smelling, but we have this really cute small can, um, and I know it takes up almost the entire um, camera, but this has been really awesome for us just to keep in the kitchen. So we keep this next to our sink and we just sort of fill it um, as my boyfriend's cooking. He'll throw the scraps in here and whatnot, and then when this bag is full, uh, we tie it up. We take it out to our bigger compost bin and then we replace this one. So I also have the bags here to show you as well. These are the ones that we're using currently. They're 100% compostable bags, um, the small kitchen size. So four gallons each. They have a bunch of other different sizes that you could use if this is a little too small for the can that you have. Oftentimes we have to double up. I have found that because, compost because bags are compostable, they're a lot um, thinner. And so sometimes to get the smell to stop or even just to make sure that it doesn't break through the bottom, um, we have to double up. But these come in really, really massive rolls. I think this one was, um, yeah, this is a hundred bags. So it's lasted us many months and I would say that we're not even like a quarter of the way through it. So this brand is Uni. Um, and I found others online when I was searching as well, but this seemed like a quick solution that could get to us uh, pretty quickly. So I definitely, definitely recommend composting. I think that you will be honestly shocked at how much of the stuff that you currently throw out could be, um, could be composted instead, like paper towels and eggshells, um, you know, rotten fruits and all that sort of thing. So look into composting in your area. I definitely recommend an outdoor bucket um, to collect everything, a kitchen bucket for the smaller stuff, and then make sure that you're putting it all in compostable bags um, and not disposing of your compost in something that's not compostable itself. This was another item that my boyfriend bought really early on into our sustainable and eco-friendly efforts. Of course, these themselves, um, you can tell, are plastic, which is unfortunate. Going back, I would definitely have searched a little bit harder for another material, but these are awesome because I can take them um, to bulk grocery food stores and fill these up rather than taking the really massive containers that we have, which I'll show you next. These come in a lot of different sizes, so it's perfect for storing leftovers um, rather than you know covering it, um, covering a plate in saran wrap or something like that. And I find myself taking these to um, taking these to the office and work um, with my meal inside rather than something that would be a lot less sustainable. So. This is definitely an awesome purchase. Again, I would look for a eco-friendly option, but I think that having a variety um, of sizes of just like containers that you can take around to places, I mean, you can even imagine how you would use these for something um, other than the kitchen, like a craft project or something like that. So highly recommend um, investing in some of these as well. So as I mentioned, one of our more recent efforts has been investing in bulk food containers. My uncle graciously gave us some container store gift cards when we moved into our current apartment. And so we spent these on these bulk food storage containers. Um, we have a variety of different sizes um, depending on which food. And we found just through research and Googling some stores near us, including Whole Foods, Fresh Time Market, that 
provide bulk food options. So that's provided us a lot of um, solutions for things like my cereal, I'm a really big cereal eater, um, grains, oats, rice, as well as flour and stuff like that. There are still a few items we haven't been able to find in bulk, which has been a shame so far, but um, we are continuing to look and always looking to make improvements there, but this is a really great start. These are um, OXO containers, so it makes it super easy. You just pop this up and remove the top to get inside. This one's gonna take up the whole camera again, but we also have flour. So we have a really, really big one for flour. Um, my boyfriend uses a lot of this, so we go through it quite a bit. And like I mentioned with these, rather than taking this really big container to the store for flour, I can fill up one or two of these with them and bring it back. That way I'm only taking home what we actually need. And then I don't have anything in this one right now, but these are the ones that we bought for cereal. Uh, we have a few so that I can have a variety depending on what I want in the morning. These would be really great for like snacks. Um, maybe like a smaller size would be really good for um, like nuts, uh, trail mix and that sort of thing as well. So definitely recommend looking into bulk food shopping in your area. Hopefully you have some solutions like Whole Foods, Fresh Time Market or some other grocery store that you can check out. Um, but this has been a game changer for us. So I mentioned these next products here in my last video. I'll link that um, in case you want to jump back to my Christmas haul, um, eco-friendly things that I got. But these are two wonderful things um, that you can be using in your home as well. Bees wrap is really an awesome replacement for um, saran wrap. So instead of using plastic wrap to um, you know, wrap something in the fridge, store something in your pantry, or just cover a bowl or something like that, you can use these as a replacement. So it says here, a natural alternative to plastic wrap. Wrap cheese, half a lemon, cabbage, bread, or cover a bowl. Seal with the warmth of your hands, store food naturally. These are washable. Um, I lost the little insert that went inside this package, but I believe it said you could wash it around 200 times before they recommended replacing it. And the packaging that it comes in is 100% recycled paper and biodegradable cellulose. So if you can find these in the store rather than having them shipped to you, even better. But sustainable food storage is awesome. You use so much plastic wrap um, in your kitchen without paying attention sometimes, so it's really great to have these. My boyfriend actually got a mixer for Christmas from me. Um, and so he's been making homemade bread, which is awesome, but we use this to cover um, the homemade bread that he makes and it stores it super, super well. And then this one here is just a vegan dishwashing block. You can see it got some use already, but um, I kept the packaging just to show you. This is from No Tox Life. I know that they're a really popular brand. Um, Soap, especially in disposable containers like this one, really add up and they're really bad. So really bad for the environment. So if you can switch, um, not just in your kitchen, but in your bathroom and your shower as well to something like a um, bar of soap instead, that's a really easy and great switch to make. So excited about this vegan dishwashing block. So these are eco-friendly produce bags. Um, these are bags that you can take to the grocery store with you and put your fresh produce like fruits and vegetables and lettuce and all of that stuff um, in one of these instead of using using the plastic bags that they provide you. We received a number of these in my stocking from my mom this year and they are just the perfect gift. I recommend giving them to absolutely everyone and encouraging the people in your life to start using these rather than the plastic bags at the grocery store. What we've done is we have a few canvas tote bags, um, so reusable grocery bags, that we take to the grocery store with us and we just put these inside of it so that we make sure whenever we go we never accidentally forget it. These come in a lot of different sizes, so we use some of the bigger ones like this blue one here and this really big turquoise one for our larger um, fruits and vegetables. Celery stocks fit really well in here, um, as well as like zucchinis and apples. Um, and then we use some of the really small ones that we have for like lemons and limes and that sort of thing. So these are an awesome solution. Everyone should start using these in my opinion. You don't have to be on like a big zero waste eco-friendly mission in order to start using these. So this is the last really awesome solution that my boyfriend and I have implemented in our kitchen. This one was all his idea, so I give him all the credit here, but 
These are just plain white washcloths that have pretty much eliminated the use of paper towels in our kitchen completely. So we use these um, to you know, wipe down the countertops, wipe down the stove top, dry dishes um, if we need to, and a, a bunch of other uses. So these have been absolutely fantastic for us. One thing that we realized um, is that when you throw them in the wash, you should definitely put them on the sanitized setting along with some white vinegar in um, the washing machine and then also the sanitized setting on your dryer. Um, that'll help get any like smell that came from wiping down food products off of them. So I highly recommend just like going and buying a pack of 24 cheap white um, kitchen towels. These are really great. And then my mom gave me these Swedish dishcloths um, for Christmas as well. So these pretty much operate um, in the same way. These are Swedish sponge cloths from Ecology. Um, they are reusable, washable, and compostable. So when you're done with them, you can just throw them in your compost bin um, if you went ahead and got a compost bin as I suggested. So these are great. Uh, one sponge cloth replaces pretty much like, close to 40 rolls of paper towels. So we have a few different sizes here. I love this one, it's kind of holiday themed. So it's nice to have some options that aren't just the plain white dishcloths. I've seen these in a ton of stores. I've never just, I've just never actually purchased them. Um, so I definitely recommend going with one of either of these methods. I think the white dishcloths would wind up being a little bit more sustainable in the long run, um, but these are really fun as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you uh, learned a few things that you could go ahead and implement in your kitchen as well. We still have a lot of work to do and things that we want to try to make more sustainable and eco-friendly in our kitchen. So I hope you'll keep tuning in for a few more videos that I'll have later on about that. Um, and then we're trying to tackle about one room a month in early 2021 as we work towards a m closer to a zero waste lifestyle. So we're trying to make that as sustainable um, and the least stressful for us as possible by making slow, steady changes. So after the kitchen, we'll be moving on to a different room in our house. So um, stay tuned for the updates there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.